I used to work at Hamilton. I was a yard duty out here. Some of the best years. I watched the whole yard. I remember we had a new kid one time out on the playground and he came from the East Bay. He had some attitude, he definitely had a posture and he was kind of poking at some kids, a bit of a bully. I hung out close to that group and approached them a couple of times to break up any potential disturbances. When recess was over and the kids were walking in back to class, I walked next to him, introduced myself and said, hey, got a minute? And he's like, who are you? No, don't want to talk. Gave me all kinds of attitude. I said, here's the deal. There's no bullying on this playground. I won't let you bully anyone, but I won't let anybody bully you either. It works both ways. He didn't say anything and went into class. Pastor Adam's gonna to talk today about the love challenge. Love is patient, love is kind. And as is Jesus's MO, he's talking about the people we don't wanna love, the people we don't like. He's flipping the switch, loving the unlovable. We all love, right? And we are loved. That's not the problem. The challenge is loving like Jesus loved. Sometimes we hear this verse, love is patient, love is kind. We think we understand, we think we are kind, that we do love, but do we do it to the people we don't know? And sometimes don't wanna know. We think, sure, I can be more patient with my brother, my sister, my dad. What about the kid who always acts out in class or the bully who is mean to everyone? We think we're patient. What about the person who cuts in front of us in line? Pfft, what? I'm standing here. Or the person who cuts us off in traffic? <coughs> that person at the grocery store or at the park. The person who thinks they're so much smarter than us. That's so annoying. What about the kid who sits on the playground with no one and is made fun of? Do we stick up for him? That boy on the playground at Hamilton came up to me two or three days later and said, what if it's not happening here? It took me a minute to know what he meant. He was talking about somebody bullying him outside of school. I said, where is it happening? On the way to school or on the way home from school? He said, yes. I told him I'd absolutely get involved and if it continued, he needed to let me know right away. Three days later, we found out that he and his two younger siblings were living by themselves and had been for about a week. Sometimes we need to hear people's stories to have compassion. Everyone has a story. God says when we aren't patient and we don't love, we are like noisy gongs and clanging cymbals. But we can accept the challenge that God is giving us to live as patient and kind people, give people the benefit of the doubt, even when we don't know what's happening in their life. God puts people in our path for a reason and we need to pay attention and be patient and love. Let's pray. God, again, we failed the test. We can be impatient and unkind to people we don't know, people who irritate us, people who are mean. But you tell us to love them anyway and be patient with them. Help us do that. Sometimes it's so difficult. Help us to see you in those situations and be more like Jesus. In your son Jesus' precious name, we lift this prayer and all God's children say, Amen. Yay, God.